Welcome to Swinopoly Mode, Career Mode with SwinnerQ. So welcome back with this grand old team that is Everton. To catch us up, if you didn't know already, we've been placed with a £100 million debt and we've been relegated all the way down to League 2. So, you know, it's not really good times at Everton, but big dunks at the helm, as you can see up there. So our debt was a hundred million, but then we bought some Youth Academy Scouts and then uh, we sold Benny Benigamy. And then we've ended up with a grand total of 110,800,000. I can't see that changing unless someone miraculously goes, oh, I want an Everton player. But at the moment, it's no, nobody's coming in for them, which means our budget's probably gonna stay like that. I'll show you my Youth Academy players because while we have some good ones, the best being Jack Roger, you don't know how badly I want Jack Roger in at the club right now. That's that's Duncan Ferguson's protege right there. The second best player in our Youth Academy player is Kai Hobbs there, who I think will take over Jal Virginia's role at some point. We currently sit very nicely at the top of the pile of League 2, as expected. We've got a busy month ahead of us. Uh, we've got South End, we've got Cambridge in the Papa John's Trophy. You know, that prestigious trophy. But I mean, Everton, they probably just want a trophy right now. You, you know, it's, it's been a while. <laughs> let's not waste any more time, let's get into a game. Did I say I was gonna sim this? I did, didn't I? I said I was gonna sim this, so I'll sim it. Not a good start to the episode. We battered them. Even on The Sims, we got FIFA'd. We are terrible at Goodison Park. We lost to Mansfield at Goodison Park as well. By 1-0. The Evertonians won't be happy with that. Okay, so here's our, here's our swap team. We're giving Forbes a start, Cleves a start. He's, he, I know his sharpness is awful, but he needs to get some games. Fergus and the gaffer wants to play. He's fed up of being on the touchline. Well, here we go. First game in the Papa John's trophy. I can't believe I'm saying that. A Houlihan, as in, as in Wes Houlihan. Okay, okay, I'll be interested to see these teams. Come on then, you blues. And making their debut in the Papa John's Trophy. It's Everton. I'm sure Everton will want a good run in this cup. You know, if they can win it, something to give, you know, the Everton fans to cheer about. I'm sure many Evertonians wouldn't be bothered if they went far in this. It's just about getting out of League 2, to be honest. And that's how you do it with a great tackle from Denny. And now it's Dunk, who's, who hasn't got pace. He's 49 years of age. He's not going to beat him, is he? Oh, my God. <laughs> that was just a terrible idea. Ironside to Dallas. Where's Houlihan, the veteran? Noyle. The Blues have done excellently there. Forbes has just held on to the ball. He's holding off all the tackles. That's brilliant stuff from Forbes. Ferguson, can he find a decent run now? Looks out wide. He finds Bryn Cleves. Looks across goal. Siga Janssen. It's a, pff, straight at the keeper. It's a good save from Burton, but he should be putting that in. Should be burying that. Swinnerky and Hannett challenge again. Hannett won the ball twice now. Oh, come on, Swinnerky, lad. Ooh, it's a good job that ball wasn't good. Cambridge with an opportunity there, and they've just wasted it. Jensen Shields, um, Branthwaite, <laughs> he makes sure. I think Everton should have at least scored by now, so we're not doing great. Could could be better, is my analysis. Denny, Siegel Jonsson, Ferguson. It's Cleves, Cleves out wide. Cleves steps inside, bring Cleves! It's a great finish from the youngster! Bring Cleves, the model! Recently just signed a deal with John Lewis for a modelling contract. Scores for Everton. And this is great play. I didn't hear him plays out wide to Cleves. Cleves, little step over. Cuts inside and just put a top corner. Keeper no chance. Was it, ah, well, actually, Keeper did have a chance. It was quite quite a tight angle. But that's a great finish from Cleves. Cambridge United Ale Everton 1. Addy Neeran looks for Cleves again. Cleves has been the man to make things happen here. Oh, it's not a bad ball, you know. Keeper comes out. Oh, Forbes just, it just wouldn't turn around and hit it. That seemed like it took a decade. Honestly, the Titanic sank quicker than that. And that'll do. Going to half time, 1 0 up. I'll take that. You know, Cambridge have come forward maybe once or twice, but not found the pass, so their fault, really. And we uh, go into half time, 1 0. Great tackle from Alex Denny again. 
Sigurd Jonsson sees the run of Forbes. Can he find someone at the back stick? Oh. Ferguson! Oh, it's a great finish from the gaffer! Look at that. Adi Niren heads it forward to Cleves. Cleves just lays it into Ferguson's path and Ferguson just blasted it to the roof of the net. And look how proud Ferguson is of Ferguson. That is Ferguson's inception right there. The player manager gets, gets a goal and Everton are 2-0 up. Oh, Bryn! He has been my man of the match so far. Seagull Jonsson sees the run of Adi Niren. Adi Niren, can he find the finish? All starts with Bryn Cleves winning the ball there. And Ferguson who lays it into Seagull Jonsson. And you don't give Seagull Jonsson the time and place to find the pass. Otherwise, he'll play to someone like Adi Niren who will score like that. Simo, can he... Oh, he just couldn't finish it. Denny, he's still there. Oh, good footy. And we, uh, we ended there on the attack as we were throughout the whole game. Just Cambridge just couldn't deal with us. We were just on top from the get-go. They came forward a couple of times, but that man there, Ferguson. And if Brin Cleaves isn't man of the match, there's something wrong with the game. There we go, as it should be. Well, Sim Crawley play against Forest Green because it'd be nice to play at Goodison. Uh, one change from our good first team is that Swinnecue comes in for Coleman because Coleman's got international duty, so he can't really help us out. But let's see if we can get a result. We haven't been great on the Sims. We get our first draw of the season, 0-0. Again, we dominate games, but we can't seem to get results at the moment. A loss and a draw so far. So hopefully a game against Forest Green can go a little bit better. So far, it's not so good for Everton. Here we go then. Everton, who are first against Forest Green, who are fourth. Couple of changes. Swinnecue's been dropped for Coleman to come back into the team. Bryn Cleves gets a start in the league because Kyle John's... A bit tired and uh, Jaggy Elk is shattered because he's also old. So he's also on the bench. So three changes for the Blues against uh, what's going to be a difficult game against Forest Green. And it's a wet Wednesday night at Goodison Park. Goodison Park should be a fortress. The only games we've lost have been at Goodison. So we need to s snuff that out right now. Here we go then, Everton. Kick off today against Forest Green Rovers. The first time these teams have ever met. Because Everton have never been this low. But Charles Lee could carry the ball here. Sees the run of Gordon. Gordon, who's had a great start to the season. Can he play in? Dowell! Easy. Easy from the Blues. It's a good start for Everton. It's lovely stuff, this. Garbo, who won the ball, Black, played it to Charles Lee. Charles Lee, out wide to Gordon. Gordon just pulls it back across for Kieran Dowell for the tap-in. The Gladys Street will love that. But Everton go 1-0 up against Forest Green Rovers. Forest Green just keeping hold of the ball here. Charles Lee does brilliantly. As does Sambu. Nah, ref, come off it. Come off it, lad. That was a great tackle. Connolly. You can't get past Connolly. Charles Lee drops in to fill in that role of Connolly. Because they got past him. Collins. F it. Wow. He's, he's just hit it. The first shot of the game. He's just, he's just managed to find just a couple of yards of space and he's rifled that. I think that was Cadden who just found a couple of yards of space that's poor from Feeney. And then Cadden just blasted it into the top corner. It's a great finish at the end of the day. Forest Green Rovers reply. Just can't get the ball off the Forest Green Rovers players. I don't, I don't know how we won that. Shimmy, Shimmy did. Shimmy finds a way. Garbit into Gordon. Gordon. Who's great when he's running at the defence. Can he find the runner? Sambu! Sambu! Yes! Oh, Gordon! That's what we love to see. Sambu running into the box like that. Brilliant. Here we go. Gordon out wide again. Is He's the, the playmaker once again. Whips in a fantastic ball to Sambu. Sambu just puts that bottom corner. All right. This is the quality that Everton have right here. Look at this for a goal from Sambu. Bottom corner. Keeper. No chance. Everton 2. Forest Green Rovers 1. Feeney, you're having a stinker, mate. Good dead deck from Connolly. Come on, Blues. Get a hold of it. That's just poor. That is just poor from Everton. Get the ball and just can't keep hold of it. Then 
I literally throw myself in the way. Is that an own goal? Is that a Feeney own goal? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. You are having a meh. What happened with Pennington at, at wide here? How is he not blocking this? What? He's coming off a half time, Morgan Feeney. Everton 2, Forest Green Rovers 2. <laughs> my god god it's been uh, we've uh I, I don't even know how to sum up that first half i know how to morgan feeney ferguson doesn't mess about <sighs> slowly getting more and more irritated that just should not happen Ah, oh, Gibbo, you did something that Morgan Feeney couldn't do, and that's clear the ball. Good knock. Come on! Anthony Gordon is miles quicker than that kid. Oh! It's a good effort from Dahl on the edge of the box there. Good link-up play from Everton. That's a terrible cross. No, it's not. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. Sambu, once again. What a header. <laughs> I, I think that's Connolly who whipped that in. It's a good whip in. It's deep. It's high. It lingers and Sambu gets up there. 3-2 Everton. Good run from Bryn there. Across the goal. Oh. See, why couldn't Morgan Feeney do that before? What he's just done there. Just touch and take it away. But nah, he just plants it into the back of the net. John Virginia is coming out to meet Wagstaff. Yes, ciao, lad. Love that. Love that, kid. Love that. As long as he don't score from this, it's, it's brilliant play. They're going to score. Nah, ciao's all over it. Charlesley gets up there and wins the ball. That's a great ball from Sims. That's a fantastic pass by Sims. And Seagull Jonsson kills the game off. It's Everton 4, Forest Green Rovers 2. Look at this. Sims just picks up the ball. See Seagull Jonsson running there. And he just... It's a delightful pass. Keeper could have come out and met it earlier. But Seagull Jonsson plants it into the corner of the net. 4-2. Seagull Jonsson now trying to play in Sims. He does. Can Sims find a good finish here? Dunk's got his kit on. He's had enough. He's had enough for Sims. He had his kit on. He wanted to come on. Show him how it's done. Not many people like that glitch. But I want to let you know I love that glitch. Look, you can see him over there. <laughs> oh, full kit wanker. That is big Doug. Yes, lad. <laughs> Man of the match. Basala Sambu. Yeah, I agree with that. I'm thinking we sim these next two games. Play Colchester. Get that youth report in. Yeah, we'll play. We'll play our second team against third place. Poor fail. I'm, I'm sure it'll be all right. No, oh, we just can't win on a sim, can we? We just can't win sim games at the moment. This is terrible. Come on, Newport County at 22nd. We have to be winning this on the sim with our best team out. Surely, surely. Hey, hey. That's nice to see. Oh, yes. Kyle John's now a right mid. I mean, he's a right mid. Well, I'm going to try and make him a right wing now. Now that, now that I've changed his position once. Yes. It's only going to take him eight weeks. Here we go then. Last game of October and we're in our gorgeous amber kit. There's our first team. So Colchester United versus Everton. Here we go. Colchester United versus Everton. And it's nice to be in a different stadium. Other than Town Park. We're defeated by Marine in the FA Cup. Big up Marine. Here we go then. The team from Essex against the team from Merseyside. Smith heads it down. Welch Hayes. Eastman. Lapsley. Luke Gambin. Looking to play in Bramall. Pennington gets up there. Got to get the rebounds. Gambin's got to be offside. And he is. Everton stepped up at the vital moment there to leave Gambin offside. Oh, it's close though. It's very close. You don't need VAR for that, no. Got it. Down. 
Sambu. Back to Dal. Dal. Into John. 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 John! Where's the Evertonians? There they are. After Colchester just got denied a goal. Dal, Sambu, linking off. Give it to Charlesley. Charlesley plays it to John. And then John does what he does best and finds the bottom corner of the net. Good finish it for someone who's right back originally. So Colchester find themselves a goal behind even though they put the ball in the back of the net first. Just looking for the run of John. He gets it. Can John find Gordon? Gordon! Wow. Anthony Gordon, Carl John linking up there brilliantly. Gordon puts his foot through the ball. There's no chance for Dean Gherkin there. And Colchester find themselves two goals behind. Find Sambu. Into John. John! Oh! Sambu with the bit of skill to play in John. He loves a fancy assist, Sambu does. And John, I mean, again, he's just finished the ball brilliantly. And Everton find themselves 3 0 up against Colchester. Sambu just holds the ball there, looks for the opportunity. Carl makes a run, but then he gets the ball played in. He has to hit that first time. And he just puts it into the top corner. Everton 3 0 up. Yeah, so you missed that. My, uh, my thing, my jig. My capture card just crashed for some reason, but I'll show you what's just happened. Okay, so we crashed here. All right, and this is what this is what happened. We got tackled, lost the ball quite cheaply. Then my computer decided to tell me something was wrong, so I looked down, and then Colchester United were played in. Senior came wide, senior came at goal, and it's a great save from Zhao, but the follow through from Pennington gave away a pen to get a goal back for Colchester, and Zhao stood firm and saved it. And that's all that happened. That's how we look right now. So Pennington is off, obviously. And we've gone to a 4-4-1. But Jar with a huge save there. Kyle John. Oh, Kyle John. Kyle John. Oh, Og. To Sambu. Are we going to score from this corner? Are we going to score from the penalty that was missed? We are going to score. They took the corner. <laughs> Kyle John just brought the ball out. And that, that kid... Is having the game of his life so far. Everton are 4 0 up. Kyle John brought the ball out, played it into Connolly, and Connolly just dinks the ball over to Sambu. Sambu takes it in his stride, scores. All of my front three have scored today. Colchester 0, Everton 4. It blows for half time. Solid. Sambu can look for a man now. Finds Dow. Back to Sambu. Sambu's been played forward here. Sambu lays it off for Dow. Sambu loves a cheeky little heel assist, doesn't he? Hey. And it's just the Sambu and Dal show there. Sambu held the ball. Knew Dal was running in the middle. And Dal's just placed it into the corner. Colchester nil. Everton five. So John, who's had an excellent game, comes off. And Brent Cleves comes on the model. And uh, Dal comes off as well. For Dennis Adinirin to come on in his place. Here he is, his first touch of the ball. He can make a good run. Oh, he holds off the player brilliantly. Can he get a good ball in now? Into Sambu! He comes on. What's the first thing that Bryn Cleves does? Assist Sambu. Bryn Cleves who holds off the defender there brilliantly. And then his classic crossing. His crosses are amazing. Just always finds a man. And it's usually Sambu. Full time! <laughs> he called it as soon as it said it. Everton rampant in Essex today. And surely Kyle John's man of the match. No, Basala Sambu gets man of the match again. 10 out of 10 display. Oh, joint man of the match. And on that note, it's time for the Youth Academy Scouts. Here we go. Let's get some good scouts. Starting with... South Africa. Potlaco Festile. Going to have to sign him in, obviously. The rest can go. The, these are awful. Who have we got from Canada? Anyone of interest? Kevin Brown. Michael Fisher. And the final one from Northern Ireland... That's all I wanted. Jack Sloan. Look at that. Oh, I've got to sign him in, haven't I? Jack Sloan. Look at him. He is a unit. Right back, centre back, left back. This man is a completionist. We've got to keep him at the club. So, we end the episode where we started it. On top of the EFL League 2 by four points. Paul Fail are behind us. Slowly catching us up. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like. Comment down below what you thought of the episode, if you liked <laughs> what you saw. Uh, I hope you've had a good morning, or a good afternoon, or a good evening, or a good night. And as always, Nil Satis Nisi Optimum.